Welcome to Cape Peninsula Capital. Today I'm going to talk about the technical analysis of Galaxy Digital. Yesterday I already made a video about Voyager Digital. It's also a cryptocurrency stock. Um, yeah, I will start with a broad overview about the uh, yeah the price action. Then I will dive into the past price action. So to give you uh, some insights how or which kind of setups have worked in the past, because sometimes if you are able to analyze this uh, setups, which work for a certain stock, this will help you also for uh, future setups or for future trade ideas. So overall, we can say that after the sell-off in March, we are in an overall um, uptrend. So we can see that uh, we are me making higher lows and uh, higher highs. So nobody would argue against the fact that uh, we are in a very clear uptrend. Oh, right now, not right now, but that we were in a very clear uptrend. And right now we are seeing that uh, since April 2021, that we are in the downtrend. So we are doing the exact opposite. We are doing lower lows, as you can see here, and lower highs. So let's dive into the past price action. So one thing what is very obvious about the stock is that uh, significant highs very often um, acted as resistance and then as support. So I will demonstrate you, uh, yeah, this right here. So here we have the significant high then the pullback. Then we broke out of it. So now this section acted as support. And here we consolidated right at the support area. So we have the breakout in combination with a high volume. This is a very bullish sign. And then we have this doji candle and this hammer candle and, and again this doji candle. So if, if you see this after the breakout, this consolidation phase, this is a very, very bullish sign. Again here, we could see that uh, we had this uh, significant high, which acted here as resistance, resistance. We uh, broke out of it again with a higher volume. We consolidated, so we made this three wave correction, which could also be analyzed as a bull flag. And then the uh, next continuation. Also a thing to note is here, that we have this very obvious trend line. So this is also acting as support. And in this case, for example, we had uh, the consolidation at the support area, at this trend line, in combination with a uh, bullish uh, engulfing pattern. So this candle is encapsulating the previous candle. So this was also a very good setup uh, to go long. Here again, the previous uh, significant high acted as resistance. We uh, got over it. We uh, retraced back with the bull flag. Here we were forming a bull flag right at the trend line, right at the support area. So this again was a very, very bullish sign. And the last time you could see again, we have this resistance area, the last significant high. We gapped over it. I mean, there's no stronger sign than a gap up. We consolidated above it, and then we uh, had it further upside. So here you can see that this previous highs very often acted as a very good uh, support area. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, right now we are in a downtrend. So we're making lower lows and we're making lower highs. And uh, yeah, let's dive into it a little bit more. So right here, we can see that we have some, look, we have a support area. We uh, broke it one time and regained it again with a gap up. So also a very bullish sign. And right now we are in this uh, range. The thing is, um, I wouldn't go long right now because as I said yesterday with the uh, Voyager Digital 
analysis right now we are in the downtrend so we would against we would act against the trend and also one thing if you compare this stock right now to Voyager Digital I can uh, here you can see that although here also we are consolidating this is not a dynamic move to the downside so although we are in a downtrend, we can see, for example, that this high is overlapping with the second last low. This high is overlapping with the second last low. So although it's a downtrend, this is a very weak downtrend, and we still see that there is uh, pressure from um, still pressure from the bias. And if you compare this to Galaxy Digital, we can see that we have this. Uh, this move to the downside and then this uh, very weak move to the upside. And also here we have this dynamic move to the downside and weak, weak move to the upside. So if you compare this to Voyager, you can see that the downtrend in Galaxy Digital is much more impulsive. And also if you compare this high with the second last uh, significant low, there is no overlapping. And this is also a sign that the downtrend is yeah, not, not as weak as the downtrend of a Voyager Digital. So how would I trade the stock? So first I want to see that the downtrend gets broken to the upside. So I want to see a price which is above um, yeah, 25.50. And this also is an opportunity for uh, clearing this range, right? So what I want to see is that we go up, we break the resistance area, which now should act as support, and then that we have some kind of pullback. This can be dynamic, or this can be uh, very uh, corrective, like in a bull flag. So if we would have this, let's say this bull flag, we can trade the last significant high to go long, but I will give you an update on that. Or if we have the dynamic move to the downside again, I want to see some sign of weakness at this point. So maybe a uh, hammer candle or a doji candle and bullish engulfing pattern. Because as we, uh, as we have uh, looked here in the past, these areas can act as a very good um, support level. This previous highs can act as a support area, which can also then turn out to be a very good uh, entry point to go long. And this is my um, setup or my analysis of uh, Galaxy Digital. Um, if you have questions, please put them down below into the comment section. I would be very happy to uh, answer them. I wish you good luck with your trading and have a nice day. Bye-bye.